Good morning and happy Tuesday. I have a very busy day of filming ahead of me. I just filmed um, a little bit of what I eat in a day. I'm gonna be posting a what I eat in a day to lose weight video this Friday for you guys. So keep an eye out for that. I need to get to filming, but I'm finishing up my smoothie. So while I do that, I am looking at the Magnolia table book that I got yesterday and um, I just skimmed through it a little bit, so I'm excited to sit down. Does anybody else love reading cookbooks? Like, I don't fully read them, but like, I love um, looking at them like magazines. The dogs got groomed today. <laughs> I told Moxie I would give her a treat. And Moxie looks so cute. Moxie, sit. Sit. Oh, good job. He looks so cute. You have to stay still, though. I am trying to film another video and Harper is just running around the island laughing. So I'm gonna have to do something else for that video, for the outro. <laughs> you know, oh, kisses. Kisses. Yeah, oh, what in the world? <laughs> Pet her. Pet her night, oh, kisses. Yeah, I know Feather. She's like, Mom, help. Hey guys, it is Thursday. I am just making dinner here. We're having tostadas tonight, so I am chopping everything up. And I think Harper's making a little something over here. Yeah, are you making dinner? No. No, are you making a mess? You gonna cook something in your pants? You gonna cook some dinner? No, you just making a mess then? Okay. Oh, oh, hugs. I love you too, sweetheart. Yeah, mommy's making dinner. It's gonna be done in a minute. I don't know if I've shared this before, but I really like adding corn and beans to my taco meat. I feel like it adds a lot of flavor. This is one of my favorite dinners, and I'm super excited to dig in. Where's the banana, Harper? The monkey's eating the banana. Where's that banana? Yeah, the good job. Where's the banana? Where's the orange, Harper? Where's the orange? Where's the orange? Harper, where's the orange? Yeah. There's the orange. Good job. Yeah. Hey, what's inside? That's your passport. What is that? This is yours. Here, look at it. That's your passport. Oh, how neat. Now we can travel the world. Mommy what? just got hers in the mail, and Daddy got his, and you got yours. Oh, look at it. Is that you? <laughs> you. Is that your first passport, honey? I am about to make um, some cookies with Harper. I have been seeing some three ingredient um, banana chocolate chip cookies online and it just requires oatmeal, bananas, chocolate chips, and then I'm gonna add a couple more ingredients. So I'm about to make those with Harper. She's feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling a little bit better. Joe is still really sick. Um, so I thought it'd be a fun kind of lazy day activity with her and she loves cooking with me. Okay, put the banana in. Put the banana in the bowl. Okay, now we're gonna mash it. Oh, you wanna help mommy? Here, mash the banana with mommy. Oh, good job. Mmm. Help mommy. You put it in there. Oh, good job. Yeah, now we gotta mash it, huh? Put in the oats. Good job. Can you grab another spoon? 
Oh, that's a good job. Stir, 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 stir. Oh, good job. You're gonna eat them all, aren't you? Mommy, add the peanut butter. You take a bite. Oh. Yummy. Oh, that's so good, huh? You like cinnamon, huh? If you like these now, wait until we cook them. Good job, you did another cookie. Good job. Let me shake it a little bit. On. Oh, good job! Baby. You did it! Do another one. Hey! Good thing these don't have eggs in them, huh? Here, do another one. Mm. Mm. I can't tell if I overcooked these or not because they look um, a little bit dark, but that might just be the peanut butter and the banana in them. But they smell, they don't smell burnt at all, and they smell so good. They pretty much just smell like chocolate chip cookies. She is bringing me her shoes. Are you ready to go play outside? <laughs> These are so delicious. Harper is gonna love them, and I love that they're healthier. It said to use two thirds cup of um, chocolate chips. I use mini chocolate chips, and I feel like those go a longer way in the cookie. I feel like because of that, I could have used half of a cup or less because there's definitely just like, these are just have so much chocolate in them. But if you're counting your calories, obviously cutting back on the chocolate is gonna cut down on the calories. But these are so good. Mmm. They're so gooey and chocolatey and banana-y and peanut buttery. I am making dinner right now, but after dinner, these will be the perfect healthy dessert. One of the things that I've been loving on my diet is spaghetti squash, and I always cook it face up. And I've been seeing that people cook it face down, and now I know why. So I always cook it face up like this, but this time I flip them over, and basically it steams itself. So this is like so soft and tender, like I barely have to do anything to get it to fall apart, whereas before it would be a lot harder. So yeah, if you cook spaghetti squash, definitely put them face down. And then I'm cooking up some Italian sausage. So for dinner, we are having basically like spaghetti with spaghetti squash, and instead of like ground beef or ground turkey, I thought it would add a lot of flavor to use um, Italian sausage. And this is the spaghetti sauce that I like to use with it. So here is what it looks like. The spaghetti squash is actually a little bit more mushy this time, I think because I cooked it too long. Um, normally it's a little bit more stringy, but I'm sure it's still gonna be super delicious. And I just added a little bit of um, Parmesan cheese to the top. Here is Harper's serving. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese to it, but she loves spaghetti squash. Dinner was so good. Harper ate all of her food. She ate it with her shirt off. I just added her shirt back on and cleaned her up a bit. And now she's having a cookie. You made those. Do you want to eat it while you play outside before bedtime? Is that a yummy cookie? You have a mouthful of cookie, huh? She is getting chocolate everywhere, but at least we're outside. So now I'm gonna share your guys' highlights. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your highlight was this week, and then I'll share one or two of them in next week's Bits of the Week video. So the first one that I am going to read is from Danielle, and she was always leaving me such sweet comments, and she said that her highlight was planning her friend's baby shower. She has been trying to get pregnant for over 10 years. So congratulations to your friend, and I bet you you are just gonna throw her the best baby shower ever. The next highlight is from Julie, and she says, my highlight of the week was I had all of my kids together for a visit. It's hard that they're all adults and have their own lives. I don't get to see them as much as I would like, which would be every day, LOL. That is so fun. I am the youngest of eight kids, and, um, 
It's definitely rare that all of us are together, especially since some of us live in different states and everything. So I love when we are able to get together as a family. It makes my heart so warm. That's awesome that you were able to get all of your kids together. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.